if you get a woman that's with you because she wants to be, you don't have to be possessive and controlling. You don't have to be domineering. You don't have to stand over her. If she's what she wants to be, she's going to be in line. So they have tricked the women to operate outside of their natures. And as a consequence, a lot of our good black men are now single. You know, you heard me explain that had I not met my wife, I'd more than likely be single right now because of the way women are. I need my brothers to understand that being single today is no indication of failure. The women are outside of natural law. They are no longer abiding by the natural law of selection because they are the ones who's supposed to select, right? They're supposed to pick. You hear these dudes in a manosphere and rape people call themselves select men. Like I said, y'all got names for everything. I assume that comes from some understanding of the universal law of natural selection. Under the universal law of natural selection, and we're not talking about Darwinism. That's bullshit. That's not a law of natural selection. That's, that's evolution. That's pseudoscience. That's bullshit, right? We did not come from frogs. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care what nobody tell you. We did not come from tadpoles, bro. That's not how we, that's not how we came to be. We are, we are children of the elements. Our body is full of copper, magnesium, iron, all this kind of stuff, water. We are made up of the elements. Every element on a periodical chart we have inside of us. We are living, walking elementals. That's what we are. So anyway, when I speak of the, the universal law of natural selection, what I'm talking about is mating selection. What I'm talking about is how men and women naturally get together. In one of my videos, I mentioned how the kinds of men that are, that are running the world are not the kinds of men that nature, nature would select to be leaders. That's universal law of natural selection. There's something, when you call yourself uh, an alpha, right? What you, are, what you are saying is that I am the kind of man that in any natural environment, right? In any environment where there are no structured hierarchies, where, where the pecking order is determined from within the people inside that environment. In any environment like that, I am the alpha, right? May not be the only alpha, but I am the alpha. So when you have a natural environment, right, that, that, that has no systemically created hierarchy, what you have is a, a pecking order that's going to form naturally. And the men that are high in the universal law of natural selection, they will rise to the top. And the men who are under that going to be under and then under and then under and so forth. It's just a natural order. The men that nature would choose to be leaders are also the men that are high in, 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 in so-called dating market value, right? Sexual market value. Women seem to gravitate towards these men a little bit more. But if you could trick women in mass to operate outside of the universal law of natural selection, what you have is an imbalance thrown into the mix where the women are no longer seeking out the kinds of men that they would want to be loyal to. See, if a woman chooses a man, she's going to be with that man. If she's with the man she wants, she's going to be with that man. But if a woman lets a man choose her, if a woman lets a man chase her, if a woman lets a man wine and dine her and, and pitch, pitch his pitch about what he's willing to do for her to have. You know, you dudes be all weak, talk about, man, if you was my girl, I would do this for you, I would do that for you, you know, and they be like, hee -hee. But see, when they meet a nigga like Kush, they be like, well, what you do if I was your girl? Just fuck the shit out you. Beat that pussy up like, <laughs> beat that pussy up like a burglar at night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, that's it. Well, we ain't gonna do nothing else or we gonna do plenty. But if you looking for a nigga that's gonna cater to your whims, I ain't him. Now, are we gonna have fun? Yes. I'm a lively dude. I'm a laid back dude. I'm not possessive. I'm not controlling. But you have to understand that I don't have to be possessive and controlling when you got a woman that chose you. Ah.
ding, 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 ding. If you get a woman that's with you because she wants to be, you don't have to be possessive and controlling. You don't have to be domineering. You don't have to stand over her. If she's what she wants to be, she's going to be in line. So they have tricked the women to operate outside of their natures. And as a consequence, a lot of our good black men are now single. I have a brother, I'm not gonna say his name on this video. He shared something about his personal life in, in, in a comment, right? And I, I replied, I said, man, it's a shame because I can tell the way you articulate your thoughts that you are a good dude. But it just, it shows how messed up the women are. Now, what I mean by that is, I can tell a mofo. How we express ourselves, be it in a writing or, or, or verbally, says a lot about us. Like for instance, me. I may not speak like a Harvard grad, but I talk straight and everything I say makes sense. Because I'm shooting straight and I'm shooting from the hip. I'm not trying to use eloquence to, to, to sway you. I'm not trying to be the grand verbalizer like X-Clan said, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be the grand verbalizer, you know what I'm saying? I am just trying to talk to you man to man in some straight commonsensical type of way that you can understand. So when I read the brother's comments, I can see that he's not a mofo, that he thinks about what he says, that he has some, some spiritual base to himself that he has some kind of moral base to himself. But it shows that the women are operating outside of themselves because a man like that, unless he just looked all deformed or something, he should have many women lined up to get him. But he don't because the women have been taught to not enter a relationship from that position because they are not empowered. They are taught to wait for the dude to come to them and then they are empowered. Then she is empowered. And they don't have that, that, that luxury with me. Because I'm not going to chase a woman. I'm not going to pursue a woman. I'm not going to tell a woman that I'm going to treat her like, like, like she's the only woman on the planet. Bitch, I got six more, y'all. That's my way of being. I keep and maintain my position of power because I never change for nobody. I never change, you know what I'm saying? So by me staying the same, you know, and by me being real about what I'm doing, I push the woman, I put the woman in a position to either fold back into her nature or walk. And I do believe that right now, if I didn't have my wife, I do believe 99% of women would just walk on my ass. I believe it because they're stubborn. But guess what? I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. The point is, I know why you brothers are single and I feel for y'all. But I'm telling you right now, don't feel too bad because it may not just be on you. It may not be on you at all. These women are actually operating outside of themselves and we are, are, are collateral damage of it. They collateral damage too, but the problem is they are winning while they are young. See, it affects us more while they are young. This is why all you dudes sitting back talking about winter coming when they get older. Y'all y'all waiting for these hoes to get old so y'all can get back at them. But guess what, nigga? You, you not living right now and you still getting old. I don't know, look, I don't know what they told you, but it gets harder on all of us. It changes. You know what I'm saying? You lose that flair. So while you waiting for them to get old so you can get back at them for dissing you right now, guess what? You getting old too, bro. So I'm telling you, y'all don't understand, man. Don't, don't wait to try to get back at them when they get old. Don't wait till they get old to want to see them fail because that's not what's happening. They are winning while they are young. You got to find contentment elsewhere. You got to... You gotta find peace in knowing that you're just standing on your square. You gotta find peace in knowing that that you just you are being what you are. That you you are walking your true self. You gotta find peace in that, because I'm telling you, wanting to see them get theirs in the end, they ain't gonna do you no good. Because if every day they get old, you get old. Every 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 inch they they get closer to their wall, you get closer to your wall. Yes, there's a wall for men too. And I'm trying to get y'all to understand, accept it, you know, make peace with it, but make sure that you are doing everything you are supposed to do as a man so, so that you can feel good. Because see, if you are wrong, let's say if you are living under the wrong type of ideologies and beliefs, then you are the one that's at fault, that, that, that's, at, that that's, that's in error. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be that man. 
You don't want to be the dude that's, um, that has extreme ideologies that's pushing women away from you. Don't be that dude. But you want to make sure that you're standing on your square, that you're walking in your true self and your I am, that, that, that you're walking in your Christ body. You want to make sure that you're doing that. But you don't want to be an a, 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 a asshole ideologue that, that's hard to get along with. You don't want to be that. You don't want to be the dude that wants to tell women how to dress. You meet her dressed like a hooker, she got to stay dressed like a hooker. You don't want a chick dressed like a hooker, you find your girl that's not dressed like a hooker. It's simple as that. You meet a club runner, she got to stay a club runner until she chooses not to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't change nobody, you don't own nobody. You got to find a chick walking in your path. So you can't be the asshole ideologue. You got to be a man of understanding. You got to be a man of wisdom. And when you become that kind of man, you stand in your square, man. And if you single, bro, you can go down peacefully knowing that you're single because they fucked up, not because of you. And that's what you want to be in life. But still, keep listening to me. And I can guarantee you there's a woman out there for you that's going to that's gonna respect you and honor you in a good looking one. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. On that note, I'm out. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, see you later. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long. Um.